Let's talk. What's going on, guys? Lockout men in the truck right here chilling. What's going on? Uh, welcome. Welcome. We got lots to talk about today. You know, a uh, lot, lot of things in the news that you guys may know about in the news that you guys may not know about. But I am here. Uh, it's like I'm your trucker's anchor for the news. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? Lockout men in the truck chilling. What's up? How y'all feeling today? Um, I, I see y'all out there. I see y'all out there working. Y'all out there doing the damn thing. Y'all moving America along with myself. I'm out here with you guys. I'm out here helping, helping the economy probably try to hold the economy down. But, of course, with this COVID thing, virus outbreak that's going on right now, it is, it's, it is, it's hard to try to stay positive, but I am here to tell you, let me get this right quick, skirt that, I'm here to tell you, put your faith in God, man, I did, you know, once, once I started putting my faith in God, everything, everything changed, you know what I'm saying, just, uh, just hope for the best and let God do the work. Before, before I even get into this, I, I want to just say, I want to just say right quick. And just, just hear me out. All right. All right. It's, I'm not, you know, I'm not a religious person. I'm more of a spiritual person. I think I said I wasn't a spiritual person. I, I kind of like twisted it up, but I'm more of a spiritual person because I do believe in God, my Lord and Savior. All right. Now, before I get into get into the news and everything, I just want you guys to just just hear me out. Hear me out right quick. Everybody better open their eyes and realize what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? In three short months, just three months, because before this, before this, we we had the all star game in Chicago. We had fun. We before all of this, people was going to the casinos and 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 having fun. You know, my my favorite poker, uh, my fav my two favorite poker uh, YouTubers, Jamin Burton and uh, and Jeff Bosky, they they just got finished putting up videos. Um, another one, Brad Owen, just got finished putting up videos, and then that's this kid. Uh, he he just got finished putting up videos about where they was at when they was playing poker. But in three short months, everything, the whole, everybody lives, the whole world changed. Just like, now, now just hear me out. Just hear me out, all right? Just like the plague of Egypt, all right? God has taken everything, everything, all right? God has taken away everything we worship. God, now listen now, listen, hear me out, hear me out. God said you want to worship athletes. Well, look what he did. Basketball season, canceled. Uh, uh, baseball season, canceled. Hockey season, canceled. Now, football is further down the line, but that could be canceled too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just just hear me out though. Wait. Wait now. Wait. He said he will shut down the stadiums, which he did. Stadiums all across the world is shut down. You want to worship musicians? You know, the Drakes, the 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 young uh the young Jeezys, the all of the musicians of the world. Now, now before I say my next statement on the, on the musicians, I, I got to admit, I got to admit, if it wasn't for music, some people will probably go out of their minds. But, but God said he will shut down the civic centers, which he did. Everything is shut down because of this pandemic, right? You want to worship actors. 
Now, don't get me wrong. Denzel Washington is my favorite actor. Uh, my man um, Samuel L. Jackson is my favorite actor, along with Morgan Freeman. He's my favorite actor too. I got. I got to admit those those three those three guys. They're they're my favorite actors. But but he said if you want to worship them, he said you're going to shut down all the theaters. All the theaters is shut down. We can't congregate. We can't go see movies. We can't go see our sports stars. And we can't go see our favorite musicians. All right? You want to worship? Now, here's the biggest thing. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Here's the biggest thing, though. Here's the biggest thing he said. He said this, this is the biggest thing, though. This is it. If you want to worship that dollar, you want to worship that money, now a lot of a lot of you guys now I hear a lot of truckers out here. I hear I hear you. You know, y'all y'all come into Facebook posts all the time saying, yo, uh, there's not enough money to be made out here because the brokers is giving up this cheap freight. The brokers is doing this. I'm not moving my truck for no for no cheap money and nothing like that. But you, but guys, you gotta look at it this way. You gotta look at it this way. Now, I don't know your situation. I don't know. And I'm not going to pretend that I know your situation. I'm just not going to do it. But maybe sometimes, sometimes you probably might want, you probably might not want to look at it as cheap freight. You might want to look at it as helping somebody that needs that freight. Now, think about this right quick. Think about this right quick. Now, God does not work when you want him to work. It never works that way. God is not, God, God works in his way. God works the way he wants to work. But he's there when you need him. He's there on, well, he's there on time. He, he may not be there when you need him, though. I mean, there, there's probably been plenty of times I needed my Lord to come through for me, but he said that you have to learn. You have to learn from this. And then when you learn from this, you have to understand it. And then when you understand it, then I will come. Think about that. That's, that's something to think about. I thought about it because <laughs> throughout the years, I've been saying, my, people have been saying to me, lockout man, you is the most blessed motherfucker that I ever met. And I never understood that. I never understood that until now. I really didn't. Yeah, I, I say that I'm blessed and all like that, but things happen to me in my life that now that now at the age of 50, I understand. I really understand now. And you guys are going to think, yo, lockout, man, what the fuck you talking about? I'm telling you what I'm talking about. I understand now, okay? Now, money, okay? Money, I, I love money. But if God's saying if you love money that much, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I will shut down the economy and collapse the stock market. Now, the economy is almost shut down. Think about it. Think about it. You don't want to go to church and worship me. I will make it where you can't go to church. Hold up now. Hold up now. Mm. Mm. Woo! Woo! -hoo! He said, I will make it so you cannot go to church. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not a church goer. All right, so that, that probably might not affect me personally. But for the people that do go to church and they, they was just going to church on some false stuff, he made it so that you can't go to church. Mm. Hold up now. Hold up now. <laughs> 
Y'all might think I'm tripping over here, but think about think about what I'm saying, though. Think about what I'm saying. All right. Think about what I'm saying now. If my people who is called, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then and only then I will hear from the heavens and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Man, I sound like, don't I sound like a preacher right now? You know what I'm saying? You guys, look, 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 things change. Hold up right quick. Hold oh, man, things, woo, man, listen, woo, hold on, hold on right quick, hold on, woo, one more time, hold on right quick, woo, look, y'all hear that, y'all hear that? Woo! Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let me let me say that one more time. Let me let me say that one more time so you guys could could could, could understand a little bit, just a little bit. All right, I'm not a preacher. I'm just I'm just a man that realized the power of prayer. And the power of the Lord and what he has done for me and what he can do for this entire world. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from the heavens and will forgive their sins and will heal their land like i said before mm. god don't god god don't work when you want him to work he works on his time you guys remember you guys got a saying we we got a saying over here yo it is people work on 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 in word time you know what i'm saying well god works on his time he feels that when you are ready to accept him, then and only then he will start to work for you. Believe me, blessings come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and faces. Remember that. Remember that. Maybe we don't need a vaccine. Maybe we need to take this time of isolation from the distractions of the world and have a personal revival where we focus on the only thing in the world that really matters. Y'all want to know who that is? Who that is? Tell me who that is. Who that is? The only thing in the world that really matters is Jesus. Think about it. Think about all of this when I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Start the revival in your house while you got the chance to spend time with your family. Take this time of revelation. Take this time to get closer with not only, not only with your family, but get closer to the word of God. Now, I may not be uh, a religious freak or anything like that. Hell, I, I don't even go and I don't even go and talk the Bible, but I do listen. I do listen. I do learn. All right. And maybe after all of this, after all of this right here, right here, right now. Hopefully this will change people's perspective, people's lives forever, because this pandemic right here has took a lot of people away. It's took a lot of people away. And for the people that it hasn't took, I'm still praying for them. I'm still praying for them. I'm still praying for you, drivers. Pray for me. 
I pray. I put my hands down. When I, go, when I close my eyes, I, I pray. When I get behind that wheel, I pray. I'm telling you. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. All right. I, I know this is something different. This is, <laughs> this is something different. You know what I'm saying? But in the next video, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and talk about the news and everything because I got caught up in I, I got caught up into this. <laughs> I got caught up into this. How I, how am I going to talk news in this same segment with with me just going in the zone and talk about my talk about my Lord Jesus Christ and God? How am I going to follow that up? <laughs> So what I'm going to do is go ahead and shut this down. Pray for you. Pray, pray for you guys out there. Pray for strength. Pray for, you know, this, you, you'll feel the blessings coming on because trust me, if, if for you guys that are still out here that's moving America, God bless you. God bless you. All right, because there are some there are some out here that just, you know what I'm saying, just doing it for they, you know, we're out here doing it for reasons for to help America. Money still needs to be made, people still needs to be taken care of and Pills still need to get paid. Trust me, guys, before I get on up out of here, true blessings after all of this for everybody that's that 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 kept that kept it going. Your blessings will come. Mine has. And mine will continue. So pay it forward. All right. You guys take it easy. I hope you like content like this and more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Definitely share this because somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to hear it. So share this and uh, and yeah, I'll come back at you guys with another video. And on that note, we are gone.